Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Abin, Abin Shim from South Korea. I'm based in Seoul now, but uh, I was here in Dundee as a student of Duncan of Jordanstone College of Art and Design many years ago. I had a direct entry to a third year of time-based art, and I did my master in electronic imaging after the undergraduate course at the same school. Many people asked me what made me come to Dundee, and it was actually because of a sisterhood relationship between the college I went to in Korea and DJ CAD. Anyway, that's how and why I came to Dundee and study. Um, I'm going to speak about my time, my time and what I've conceived most in the time because, you know, as you know, as a creative person, conception is most important. So in this presentation is in line with my personal experience, which brought up many, many things to conceive. And here my timeline line goes. Okay. Time of finding a light in darkness. When I was a kid, I was totally influenced by Japanese animation on Korean TV. I could have a desire to dis a challenge in life through characters in animation. It sounds maybe old, but I was brought up by animation on TV, I mean, psychologically. Once I realized that I'm not able to go into animation, I would rather make it. So making images was great fun, and I ended up studying film and video in Korea, and it was in the Department of Communication Design. And I wanted to study more, and, and time-based art at Duncan of Jordanston dealt with the moving images, so I just took it. But I never meant to study fine art, uh, where time-based art belonged to. And I didn't even realize what fine art was at that time. But I only sure I really liked the name time-based art. So by the accident, I studied art, enjoyed it, and got passion to be an artist later on. I can say that the time I enjoyed watching animation on TV and studying time-based art was kind of finding a light in darkness of my life. Next, time being as an isolated planet. The time I was in Dundee for about four years was fun. Meeting people from different countries, getting to know their culture, living in a completely different world and learning another language and being connected with the people wider than ever before. It was awesome. But uh, there were many, uh, well, actually very isolated time as well because of language and cultural barriers. I, um, I had a time not being able to, you know, involved in many occasions. In the time, I browsed inner self and identity I had a plenty of time to think about myself and who am I and what the hell I am doing here in Dundee. And I was kind of isolated planet, even I came to the wider world. As an art school student, I had a desire to make something cool and looked into many things I thought cool. Uh, but what I made didn't really make a sense because I realized that what format it was, there should be a story. So I decided, oh, okay, let's, let's talk about what I really wanted to express was actually quite negative things, such as a stuffy feeling about not being able to speak English very well or furiousness towards the world that you normally have when you are in 20. In addition, there were many thoughts scattered all over my mind. So I found that I'm not the only one isolated, 
but there were many, many things inside of me that were isolated. So I collected all the scattered images and thoughts and connected them and made it a form of artwork. In time, I was in a, you know, isolated planet in the universe. And next, time and emptiness. I left Dundee in 2004 as soon as my master course finished. Went back to Seoul and I couldn't keep making my artwork. There were several reasons behind. I worked for a living for six years as a gallerist. It was a time of away from creative activity. But actually it brought me a lot of things. Well, surely it was very tough working in Korea because Korea is very well known for overworking. And I took it as a chance of a challenge and worked quite hard because I, I knew that I'm not going to do that you know, forever. So uh, during the time I was getting, you know, during the time I was working, I was getting wider perspectives and understanding of a human. Because, you know, all art is about human and our existence. So the working experience actually affected, affected me positively at the end. I had so much worries and thoughts about being an artist, then it gradually resolved when I was away from it. So I had time not making artwork, but rather emptying myself, which now I think is a, a way of making my own world. And next, time tangled. I met my limit carrying on my job in Korea and I couldn't get rid of a guilty feeling over not making artwork. So I sensed it's the time to move. I started to focus on my own work from 2010, and I'm keeping doing it now. And I enjoy being alone away from so much task. When I was here in Dundee, as I mentioned before, I was isolated at the same time I was engaged with so many things. Isolation was pain, but I kind of knew I needed it if I wanted to make something. That time um, I was in Dundee, I was young and wanted to be with you know, people around me. So to be honest, I was afraid of being alone and I didn't want to feel that again. That's one of the reasons I didn't and couldn't continue my work after graduation. But now I really need time for being alone to focus on my work. But I have many things to do in a daily life. Something that I try to avoid is now I try to have. So I'm making mess around, struggling and wondering, all tangled as you see. Whatever it is, it's my time and there is no way to es escape from it. And next, spoken as time and seen as a, a circle. Now I'm having time in Dundee. Coming back to here after 11 years is enough to be emotional. Last Sunday was the preview of my exhibition at the Hannah McClure Center. So if you have time, please come along and see. And the exhibition runs until February next year, so you have enough time. Well, on that day, I woke up with a little tension. It was just nature that when you have a show or a presentation ahead, you feel, you know, nervous. So soon I woke up and checked my email and I received, a, I received an email from a Korean guy who actually emailed me a couple of months ago saying that he was inspired, inspired by my work and he, he's dreaming of becoming a designer. I kept his email since and I sent a group email noticing my exhibition at the Hanna McClure Center. And he sent me an email saying congratulations on my exhibition preview day. It was very sweet 
and I actually can resolve my tensions and worries I woke up with. And it actually reminded me that when I was a student at Duncan of Jordanston, I got to know the artist group Young Hae Jang um, Heavy Industry. I don't know if you know them. And my classmate let me know their work, and I was totally fascinated with their work. And I wanted to express how much I really liked them. So I emailed them, and I got email back, thank you. So, um, you know, uh, Young Hae Jang Heavy Industry will be, their work will be shown this Saturday as a part of a Neon Festival. So, which means I and Young Hae Jang Heavy Industry are in the same event. So, I felt kind of a circle. And the guy who emailed me gave me lots of, you know, sweet words with the congratulations. And the last part of his email, he gave me a question as a PS. It was, what is your ambition as an artist? I was like, mm, because, you know, being an artist was my ambition. Then should I have more ambition as an artist? So I think this is the time to think about it. Okay, thank you very much for listening to me. Cheers. <laughs>